Hello, all my friends. Now I'm in Kuta Square, and I'm not going to make a video here now because I'm going to do a vlog walking on Kartika Plaza. What the situation now? Let's keep following me. The situation on Jalan Kartika Plaza now is a little different because now I can see some tourists walking around here. On the left side of the street, there is a restaurant called the Gabah Restaurant, which is already operating. But after I saw it, I have not seen the customer inside. In the area that I pass now, there are many shop or stall or warung that are still closed, such as Flapjack, Stadium Cafe, and across the street there are also many shop that are not open at all. And here there is also an Italian restaurant called Al Dente, Al Dente, sorry, which is also still not operating. I continued to walk forward. On my right and left, there was a large restaurant, and it was a seafood restaurant that also had no sign of reopening. I keep walking and across the street there was a famous hotel namely the Paradiso Hotel Kuta which I observed now the hotel still look deserted and next to Hotel Paradiso there is a sport bar Matilda which is also still not operating
in front of me now there are several hotels that might be familiar to you namely the Kuta Beach Club Hotel the Jepun Bali Hotel and the Yan House and also across the street there is the Manasti Beach Bungalow and Spa Hotel and everything looks deserted and there is no one around the hotel but if Kuta Beach Hotel and Hotel Jepun I don't know because I have to go into the LA to check it out but sorry I can because I will continue to walk toward Discovery Shopping Mall This is the Yan House Hotel which is only guarded by a security guard and in front of it there is a hotel called Bali Kerti which is already operating beside the Yan House Hotel there is an Italian restaurant Bella Italia which is also still closed The only market that has started operating in this area is the Wake Bali Art Market and all the shops on my left are not operating yet such as Kimberly Spa, Wong Kitchen and Dolce Vita Italian Restaurant. Across the street that I'm walking now, there are several restaurants. There is an Italian restaurant but it's still not operating. But next to it, there are several cafes that are already operating and at the end have also started accepting their customer. Let's take a, a closer look of progress because the tourists have started to come to this place and they really enjoy And this is a Buba Gum restaurant which is still closed guys.
and this is a very popular hotel for foreign tourists especially australians namely the green garden beach resort which is already operating and the next to the green garden entrance is the arriba restaurant which is still not operating And this is the Damar Warung, but it's still closed. And the next to it is the Samsara shop, which is also still closed. And across the street, there is one of the biggest and probably the best water rides in Indonesia, namely Water Boom, Water Boom Bali, which is already operating as usual. And you need to know that the bamboo bar and grill which is located in front of the Discovery Mall, Kuta, has started operating. They have started to get their customer. I see inside look like they are watching an AFL match. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that And also the Discovery Shopping Mall has started to get busy because the tourists have started to get busy but for now, I will not enter the mall because I will only report the current situation around Jalan Kartika Plaza. The atmosphere of the street in this area has undergone significant change. Tourists have started to get crowded. Vehicles are getting more crowded. Many restaurants are open. I'm sure the next few months, this place will be, will be back to normal again. In front of me, there is another restaurant that has started operating, namely Rasmira Warung and Bar. Yo, I think about others way before myself. Yeah, I guess that's why I feel like I go to hell. Damn. Wasting time on your dreams instead of mine, yeah About to turn this franchise around on a dime, man It's all about finding your right state of mind It's all about turning the worst into fine It's all about time and the work and the climb From the thirst we will rise, I'm immersed in this life Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth And now I'm in front of the Adijaya Hotel. They are operating as usual. Look at that. You can see tourists in here, guys. Now it seems that this is where my journey now because 
I have to go back to Kutu Square because I leave my motorbike over there. I need a little information. If you in Bali now, if you want to test COVID-19 or test PCR, in front of the Discovery Shopping Mall Kuta, there is a booth that you can go to. They are open from 8 a.m. until 20 p.m. That's all the video from me. Still support this channel by watching until finish. And please share this video with friend or family, especially those who come will come to Bali. Thank you guys and see you in the next video and bye bye.